Hello YouTube, this is your man, Big B Production Wonder. I got an awesome video for you guys today. Today in this video, I will just be going over a quick tip that you can use inside Lightroom so that the next time you're editing your photos, you can move a lot quickly through your photos versus hitting them one at a time when you edit. We want to begin by opening up Adobe Lightroom 4. Now, this is a female I shot when I was downtown uh, last week. Uh, I caught her coming out of the American Idol building. They're starting American Idol up here in Chicago now. And um, she came in third place, so I seen her coming out, and I took mm, three shots of her. But what I wanted to go over today in this short tutorial was uh, synchronizing. Now, I don't know how many of you out there synchronize your photos when you edit, but it's a cool, handy tip that you can actually do when you have multiple photos and you want to edit one, but you want to add the same effect that you did to that one photo to all three or all four all five photos. So a quick way you can do this is by making your edit so we're going to click on the develop module up here now keep in mind you can also do a short command so if you're in the library if you just hit the D key on your keyboard you will then quickly switch over to develop module so that's a cool quick tip and um, another thing I wanted to go over if you look over here in the left hand corner when you're under develop you actually got your history so your history over here under the left hand corner is basically showing you everything that you have done to this photo so unlike Photoshop Lightroom 4 keeps a history of all the effects that you put on that photo. So if you come back here a month later, two months later, you still will have your whole history of what you've done. And you can go back to any point that you would like to in this photo for that history over here. So we're going to close that down. But right now, we're just going to focus on the sync. So, okay, I'm going to unselect these. Now I'm going to go back to this one because this is the one I was working on. So I'm just going to add some stuff to it real quick. Let me see here. Not too much. Uh, uh, something else I wanted to go over real quick. So let's just say you have a lot of these boxes open for detail and lens correction. And a lot of this stuff can get confusing. If you're doing a certain effect or something on a photo, you're doing your edit, and you got all these boxes open, you got to keep strolling back and forth just to see which one you want to use. But if you just right click anywhere in this box, and you select solo mode you will then be able to just open a box so that when you're done in that one box and you click on your next one such as detail it'll just automatically shut down the box that you was in so I'm gonna show you again we're gonna click on tone curve and as you see my detail box just closed automatically again for the black and white and color now we'll go to effects and everything closed so again that's a right click and just select solo mode so that's a cool handy tip that you guys can just do when you're doing your edits okay so now we want to do the synchronize so let's uh, go to basic uh, I'm at a little bit of vibrance to this photo just a little bit that's too much uh, okay clarity I'll probably bring that down a little bit just to smoothen up our skin a bit okay so let's just say I was done with this okay I'm gonna close down my basic now I'm gonna say I'm done with it for right now so now I wanna synchronize all of the effects and everything I've done to this photo to these two photos so that I don't have to go in and manually do it myself so I'm gonna select that one photo I'm gonna hold down my command key on a PC it would be your control so you wanna hold down your command key or control and you just want to click the images that you want to apply that effect to now that you have done that you just want to let go of your command key or control key if you're on a Mac or PC now you want to just select synchronize now when you come up here to synchronize you'll have a bunch of different options that you can either check or uncheck so keep in mind you're going to apply all of the settings that you have done for this one photo for the other two that you're about to select which we have down here so we're going to click on synchronize and now Lightroom will then copy over the settings from that one photo to the other two photos give it a second done so now if you go over this is the one we started on we come over you see that Lightroom has copied over all the information to the other two photos perfect like so and you can do that with as many as photos as you want but just keep in mind the more you do the the longer it takes it shouldn't take too long maybe like mm, 10 15 seconds or whatever but uh you know that's that's really cool that's a cool tip i just thought i'd share with you guys or whatever for lightroom 4 
so that uh, hopefully you guys can uh, edit more quickly and now do your pictures when you're editing because I know a ton of you guys like to take like you know several shots of the same thing and you may want to edit that one photo and you I, I, I don't know maybe in the second photo that you just happened to capture at that time maybe that person or you know whatever you were shooting was a different angle or something and you happen to like that angle and you want to apply the same setting so now you can do that with this cool tip I just shared with you guys so um this is your man Big B Productions 100 please rate comment and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this short video which I hope you did holla at you